welcome to my channel. I'm doing a different series of videos at the moment, which are some individual cooks that I've done that um, I didn't end up making into what I eat in a day videos. So rather than waste the footage, I thought I'll still share them as they're all um, in line with Slim and World. So I hope you enjoy them. I'm just going to make um, my take on the Slim World Mashy Pea Curry, which is a sin-free curry, which I really love. It's also vegetarian and there's no meat in it. Um, yeah, so it's a meat-free dish and it's very quick and easy to rustle up if you want something in a hurry and it's great on jack potato with the rice. Um, yeah, it's quite a versatile dish. So I've just chopped up one red onion that's going to go in. I'm going to use two tins of mashy peas, one tin of baked beans and one tin of plum tomatoes. You can use chopped tomatoes, whatever, or fresh tomatoes. And this time I'm putting in it um, this tin of butter mushrooms. I'm just going to fry these with the onion. Um, and I'm going to put in some spinach because that's what I've got. Um, but normally I just bung in any leftover vegetables, carrots, courgette, um, Anything really goes, red peppers, yellow peppers, yeah, you can put in any vegetables basically. So I'm just frying off my onions and mushrooms. I just add a bit of water. You can use fry light if you're following Slim World. Um, on Slim World you shouldn't use oil unless you're going to sin it. Um, and it's normally like six things for maybe a tablespoon. So um, it's trying to encourage you to cook without adding fat and oil. I find now that most of the time I even don't put fry light, I just add water and just soften my own vegetables that way. Um, yeah, and if I'm using frozen vegetables, a lot of water comes off them anyway. Sometimes I don't even need to add extra water and I don't miss the oil to be that honest. I'm also going to add in this tin of peas and carrots. This might seem a bit much with the two tins of mushy peas, but the mushy peas actually just make the sauce. And you'll see this as time goes on. Um, but yeah, I've got this, so I thought I might chuck it in. I've just added three teaspoons of curry powder. This is the key ingredient for this curry. I've just added in some water to help that um, in softening these onions and mushrooms. I've added in the um, curry powder early on because I've heard that if you put spices in, it helps and release the flavours more if you cook them a bit. Now I'm just going to give this literally a few minutes. I'm going to put half a stock cube in with this. Because of the curry powder I don't want it to be too strong so just half and then I'm just going to bang in all my other tins. So the stock cube's gone in and two tins of mashy peas and the plum tomatoes. I've just tried to chop up the plum tomatoes a bit. Just about to add in the baked beans now. Um, I found out recently from the book I've been reading, How Not to Die by Dr. Gregor, which sounds a bit of an extreme title, How Not to Die, but it's basically um, lots of um, information based on scientific research about nutrition. And he's a bit like pro-plant-based diet, basically, but he says you should have three portions of beans a day. Um, but in this category of beans... He also categorises garden peas as the equivalent of a bean and lentils. So actually, um, for people that are not that keen on typical beans, um, like um, butter beans, cannelloni beans, etc., it shows that garden peas actually have a lot of um, great protein in them as well. So um, yeah, I think that makes it seem like it's more possible to be fitting those into your diet. I've really found that book to be very powerful, um, so I'd recommend it. I'll put the link below um, for anybody who's interested in more um, nutrition information, more for eating for health, um, not necessarily for weight loss, although I'm sure people um, would maintain healthy weight through what he recommends. So I've just added in the peas and carrots and the baked beans, I'll just stir this in. Um, and then towards the end I'll stir in the spinach, but I'm just going to let this boil away now. 
So I've just added in the, the spinach. I'm just going to stir this in. This is almost done. So this is my finished mashy pea curry. This is my finished mashy pea curry. I served it with brown rice and spinach this time. Um, but I often do serve it with um, jacket potatoes um, or basmati rice. And sometimes I even have it with a pita bread as a bit of a thick soup. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and feel free to subscribe to my channel. Take care everyone.